everybody to Game of Thrones and holy hell did some things happen this week. I'm your hostess cat, that's the good sir Pappy, and we're discussing episode 9, Battle of the Bastards, which, yeah. The legitimate bastards, not the every third <laughs> male in the show who is a <laughs> bastard. Who just happens so to be a bastard, yeah, no. Uh, this referring to Ramsey Snow. Like, this was the Battle of the Snows. Yeah. Oh, I'm so much better than you, John. My daddy gave me a last name. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so fancy. I've been claimed. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get there. We're definitely going to get there, folks. But we had another battle to go through first. Which was the Battle of Marines. So technically we were both right. We're closing up on the season and a lot of the people are, are right. Uh, when you read up on, oh, every single season, episode nine's the battles. Like, okay, well, I'm fucking arguing with you anymore because... <laughs> I was one of those people way back in our first episode of this <laughs> we ever did. It was yeah. like, episode nine, it's, it's the episode where just shit gets real and things blow up. It's where the budget goes. Yeah. So the, the CG team spends the whole time working on episode, episode nine. nine. Yeah. Yep. So, so we, we started CG heavy, all right. Oh yeah, we did. We got we got Dragon Mama rolling in, going, no, you know, whatever, you did an all right job, but I'm gonna wrap this up. I love how nervous he was at first. Like, uh, I, I did this, I, and she's just like, mm-hmm. But and? <laughs> he, he relaxed. He realized, all right, she's not crazy. She's not going to just throw me off the fucking top of the pyramid. And then, so he immediately, once he calmed his shit and she started talking, he's like, you know what? Honestly, that's too much. Yeah. And I suggest a better route. You're sounding like your daddy right now, and that's not the route maybe you want to take. And this is what we were hoping with Tyrion hooking up there, that he would be a little bit of a voice of experience. Hey, I've seen a lot of crazy dictators in my day. I'd like to help you not. Yeah. Can you just rein it in just a little bit? Like, you can still have your moral scruples here. He's yeah. not arguing morality. Yeah. He's, he's not, just arguing methodology. Yeah, he's not. No, we need to set an example. But we don't have to burn every single city to the ground. A little overkill. You don't have to kill all the people. So I, I like how this episode unfolds because, okay, they started their plan and they kind of had their shit figured out. And then yeah. we jumped to the tete-a-tete of the <laughs> bastards and they have their little have it out, which doesn't go quite as positively. No, it wasn't. Well, I guess it was and it wasn't. It just had to build to the point that I had made... Where it's just, I don't see good things for Rick on with him being involved with Ramsey. Yeah. And I was right about that in the sense that, yeah, no, Rick on was doomed to die. I, I don't think you and I were at odds on that. No, nah, like, Rick on was he, not living. I don't even think he had a line this season. They just That's brought a him good back. point. No, they just brought him back for plot. And I'm like, hey, thanks for showing up. <laughs> Have a nice day. Stand here, run there, get murdered. Yeah. The end. But yeah, the the I like the challenge, that confidence of douche Bolton. You know, <laughs> oh, I have a bigger army, I'm smarter than you, I'm handsomer than you, I'm gonna <laughs> murder you, feed you to my dogs, and take my wife back. Peace. <laughs> and then drop the mic. Just as we're all getting very angry, <laughs> we go back to Marine for what I love your your pre-fight pep talk. Oh yeah, it was such a it was such a pep talk. Um, we go back to Marine. They're like, okay, no, 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 we can talk it out. She's, you know, I I looked at that and I was like, so she's humoring Tyrion. Yeah. Yeah, Pretty but. Much. But I guess, I think they, they had figured that out beforehand. I think, you know, because you see as, as it unfolds, Tyrion's kind of like, yeah, okay. Yeah. I think this was where they they met in the middle. She got her fleet. She got <laughs> her enemies to stand down. And Tyrion got a little bit more peace than burning all the cities to the ground. And we got to see where the budget went. 
Dracarys. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. And I was so excited to see, like, the Team Dragon reunited because she couldn't just leave those down there the whole yeah. time. But and that's this is her, the shock and awe moment, and I think that's what they needed. So you needed all three dragons. Like, yeah, yeah, sure, you want to take one out of the sky? Still got two more, and then they're going to murder you. Is Pretty you, much. It was a great show of strength, and then having you know her horse wards coming in through the side, just for that little added, like, just in case you thought that, oh, it's just some dragons. I got a couple, 50,000. I don't, I can't even count them anymore. <laughs> but they're here. <laughs> but they just rode in and wrecked your whole Sons of the Harpy, you know, urban combat bullshit, bullshit. But what this has done was, was it finished up that whole story. Yeah. So now we're set for next season, the invasion of Westeros. We're ready for it. Now, of course, we got some of the other stuff, the Iron Islands. Which yeah, I was going to say, while we're in Marine, let's, yeah. just, let's just jump into... So, Theon and his sister show up. Much flirting ensues. But right. not the way you think. No. <laughs> it's... I mentioned... Uh, actually, during the episode, I was texting a friend, and I mentioned, like, this is... I'm so happy that they finally gotten all these women to the badass point that we knew they were going to. They're done digging around, basically. Yeah. You know, it's... We, we all knew your dragon mom was eventually going to be a badass, but bringing in uh, Theon's sister... <laughs> sorry. What's her face? <laughs> Yara. Yara? Yeah. Uh, Yara. Jesus. You'd think I could remember her noun for ten minutes. <laughs> nope. She's, she's a straight-up badass. Always has been. But getting those two in the room. And then, you know, with, with Arya last episode and what we get to see with Sansa later, the badasses have arrived. We're, we're yes. here. And HBO, don't fucking slip back, all right? No more. Yeah, no more backsliding forward. of, like, I have a really empowered moment and then I go back to being a dainty waif. Yeah. But yeah, there was there was some flirting, and I loved how they found that common ground immediately. Oh yeah, our dads were assholes. We both know that we're more than capable of ruling. And with with Theon, that moment of humility that I think really sold the Tyrion was when Theon was like, "No, I'm, it's not me. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fit to rule." Yeah, and you know he had, of course, well, thank God we agree on something. But at the same <laughs> time, that was per a perfect phrase at the perfect moment to show yeah. just how serious they were. And then, you know, again, that, that little banter about, oh, yeah, my uncle's here, and I think he had said something about a big cock. Yeah. yeah. He wants to give you the D. Yeah, and then that knowing look. <laughs> yeah. If, oh, here we go again. Another guy who thinks he's just going to bone his way into my army. So, fantastic. <laughs> Got one, thanks. <laughs> Very happy that that's how it worked out, and a great way to end that storyline. So now let's get to the sadder stuff. Your your oniony feels. Oh, so many feels. I knew when they showed her in the damn like previously on. Yeah. Before you know How the opening music. In? Yeah, I was like, oh, I don't want to be right, and that's like that's the moral of a lot of this episode for me. It's like, damn, sometimes it sucks being right. <laughs> because, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go point A point B with that. So. The Onion Knight finds basically the the witch burning, yeah. you know, funeral pyre, whatever you want to call it, where they burned Shireen and finds the little stag that he gave her. He knows. Like, yep. and looking at that layout, even covered in snow, like, that wasn't... Just one. That Yeah. yeah. It was for one person, and he's seen this setup before. Yep. So Stannis went so far as to fucking sacrifice his own child. So now I'm sure he's thinking like, well, guess it's a good thing he did. Because yeah. I'd have fucking murdered him. But we have factor number two in that equation still around. And I say, when I say like, it sucks being right, because I said before, Onion Knight's going to find out about it. And he's going to fucking go after her. But now we're finally humanizing her. And that's the shame is the, the, the timing is that the show is actually taking great pains this season to show her self-doubt, her humanity, and more or less her, her stepping back from just, oh, do this, do this, do this, trust me. Now it's like, yeah. I'm an agent of change. I'm not the person who just steps in and makes it happen. 
Like she's realizing, oh, I do have powers from the Lord of Light, but it's to assist, not to demand. Yeah. She's and, not in control. Yeah, it, it makes her a better character, but it's like, well, as such is Game of Thrones, as people <laughs> grow and mature and realize their reality. And Must be time to die! <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But speaking of death, uh, what was the toll in this one? Eight, oh my 9, goodness. Yeah, I, that was like straight up some like 300 wall of bodies shit. Reading a lot of uh, war novels, both fiction and nonfiction, that's a reality of, of, of those ancient battles. You know, bodies pile up. They don't just fucking roll off or in video games, they don't just fade off. <laughs> it's, it's there and you're still fighting. But it was just brutal. And oh, I love how Sansa was, was very specific with, you know, I, I know it's not much, but it's don't do what he wants you to do. But, I mean, he was, John was playing like a fucking fiddle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I knew was, that from the moment I saw Ramsey with the rope in hand. I was like, yeah. ah, yep. here we here go. We Some stupid's about to happen. But it was played out so well. And it was, I mean, it showed just how repaired Ramsey was because he, he'd won that battle. I mean, the a, a willingness to kill his own fucking cavalry mm. aside, because we all know he's a giant flaming douche. Who will do anything it takes but oh, yeah. by having the cavalry pin them down and then have a sh fucking shield wall built around the other three sides and the bodies to the back was perfect and then having the northmen climbing over the bodies as, uh, having them surrounded like that it was brutal as a show to watch but military strategy was you know perfect but holy shit <laughs> i was really sitting there towards the end like where's the eerie <laughs> What are we doing here? Where is this going? The, yeah, I had so many things crossing over my head because, yeah, it was like, wall of bodies, like, all I can think of is I'm like, oh, man, this is some Spartan shit right here. Except why are Ramsey's dudes the Spartans? <laughs> it was, uh, but the the fight, showing Jon Snow his skill as a fighter was cool to see that. Uh, uh, reminding the audience that he is kind of an emo who knows nothing at times, like how to keep his shit together. He's a, a, a talented swordsman. But I love having uh, Tormund going up against Lord Umber at the end there. And just that <laughs> brutal, we can barely move, but it's like, eh, eh, yeah, eh. Yeah, I'm going to get you. Just, eh, yeah. but eh. They, Again, showing how do the Northmen fight? They fight to win. If I have yep. to bite part of your neck out and stab you with a fucking, what was that, like a deer antler or some shit? I don't even know what that was. I thought it, like... For a second, I thought it was like somebody is like ripped off bony finger. Just, I don't even know. It was something. It was just the nearest damn thing. But that was cool. Uh, but seeing the 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 actual finale of, I love when it panned back and it showed the knights. It was just like the shittiest dominoes ever as they're rolling. Through oh yeah. Just, 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 well, but, the first one's getting in, and it was like you better hit the brakes quick, guys. <laughs> Which they did, but it was just like. Yeah. I love how you wrote that, though. Uh, Baelish, you fuck. This doesn't mean I like you. Yeah, it doesn't mean I like you, because I don't like you. I don't like you, Baelish. However, you get a pass yeah, for this but, episode. But <laughs> what are you planning? Exactly, because nothing from Baelish is free. Yeah. He's got the eerie. Now, does he want John to pledge service to him so that they can combine and take the South? Like... Who the fuck knows? I, I don't even know. I mean, I'm still set firm on my stance that his goal has always and will always be Sansa. I think but he done effed up because if, she's now in a position where it's like, I don't need you anymore. If there's ever a person in Westeros perfectly willing to host the giant fucking army coming, it would be him, though. Like, in that perfect world, it would be the Eerie and the North combining and working with your dragon mama and then taking everything south. Is that going to happen? No, because Pater doesn't. I don't think he's got that in him. I don't think that's his ultimate plan. But he always does combine him, hook himself up to whoever's got the power. So it'll be interesting to see what happens next season. Well, I mean, he's got a secure hold on the Eerie. Now, you know... Oh, let us unite our houses and I can give you the D. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I foresee coming down the pipe with that. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I liked still. I liked how it ended up, and I like how all that's done. And absolutely, the Sansa ending. What you roll with that one? That was just <laughs> that was amazing. Like, oh, it was it was pure vengeance, and I was so proud of her in that moment because it was like you could see where it was like, all right, Sansa. You're committed. You're doing this, and I'm, I'm with you, girlfriend. <laughs> and she went to look away, and I was like, don't you dare. And then she almost immediately turns back and just watches it play out and then smiles at the end like, I actually am a little worried <laughs> that she might have gone a little bit too far over the line for her own, like, mental health. But also, like, I'm very I, worried about Sansa in regards to that. I see her turning on John. We don't know who put him there, though. So it could have been John who put him there, and she was like, okay, I need to go watch this. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure she set that whole thing up. Well, I'm, I was I'm actually almost positive her. she set that whole thing up because, yeah, the whole, oh, my dogs aren't going to turn on me. Oh, but you said, you know, she knew exactly what was going to go down in there. I was so expecting her to just be like, feed. And just, just you know, I was kind of. Oh, yeah, just be like, they're my dogs now. Yeah. But, yeah, talk about a little CGI. The, oh, like, holy shit. Oh, yeah. Hey, how I was not, a job? I was not expecting that. Right. I'm not sure how I feel about it. That they didn't cut away for the whole thing? They actually showed, like, a lunge and a bite? Yeah, like, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Like, part of me is like, that was a little much. Did we need to see that? They had a couple bucks left over from the CGI with the dragons. Right. Yeah, okay, I can, you know, I got a couple out. I got some time. You want me to CG a, a dog lunge? Oh, yeah, sure. Go throw it in there. Yeah, you want a dog just ripping Ramsey's entire lower jaw off? Like, do you, do you want that? Like, is that good? Well, I mean, theoretically, I think most of us viewers wanted that, so. I think, I think from a viewership standpoint, I really think that we needed his death to be as brutal as his life was on the show. Because we spent most of this show where the good people were dying off. And now it's starting to turn. I mean, now we know this is fucking Game of Thrones. We're not done <laughs> losing good people. People yeah. who care and want to see things happen for the better. But it is starting to turn now. We're starting to lose a lot of our big bads because it eventually it has to come down to everyone versus the big, big bad up, you know, up in the north, 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 north. Yeah, north. the north, 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 north. <laughs> oh, as far as the episode goes, I loved it. Uh, but that means next episode we've got to cover the trial. It's going to take a lot of that, right? Most I don't of it. know. Yeah, I definitely, I, I'm i with you on we'll be going back to King's Landing for sure. we got to see where the Hound's going. we got to see where Arya's going. It's uh, It's... Arya episode. is going to meet up with the Hound, clearly. I don't know why that's a question. But it's you. a cleanup episode. we got to cover the rest of the plot lines so that we can open up for next season. I think our big cliffhanger is still going to be the wall, baby. Yeah, is the wall coming tumbling down? Yup. <laughs> All right, then. Well, yep. thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week. As always, leave us some comments down below. We love talking with you guys. And thanks for tuning in. Your thoughts. Too brutal? Not brutal enough for Ramsey? I want to know. I want to know. We're crowdsourcing this one. What do you guys think? Yay? Nay? Fight scene? Like, episode on a whole too brutal for you? Like, or just enough? Just right. <laughs> Goldilocks us here down in those comments. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you in a week. Bye!